In today's video, I'm going to show you a different side of Las Vegas. No, not this side. That is a sweet toilet, though. No, today I'm going to show you a few things you can do in Vegas without drinking and gambling away every dime you have. Here we are on Fremont Street. And what is this? Axe throwing range? What? Drink beer, throw axes. Oh, we gotta check this one out. We'll just follow Mr. Pigeon here. This place is called Axe Hole. Yes, that's actually the name of it. And as you can see from their window display, there's a lot of fun to be had. So let's step inside and take a look around. Throwing stars, ninja stars, throwing cards, battle star, big axes, little axes, specialty axes, tomahawks, spears, and shovels. Okay, so here is what the target looks like. You get to throw your choice of weapons. And it looks like the people here are indeed having a great time. Do you get to choose your weapon? Is that yeah, what this is? Wow. That is awesome. Nice. Okay, if throwing weapons isn't your speed, how about a visit to, quite possibly, the most epic toy store in the world? Some of the items in here might look familiar to you, because this place is home of the toy expert, as seen on the TV show Pawn Stars. Where is that wide-angle lens when you need it? This place is chock full of every single toy that you could ever imagine possibly some that you have owned in the past or dreamed of owning as a child. And now that you're an adult, you can finally purchase the toys of your dreams. So much better than a casino, right? There's a little bit of everything here. New, used, vintage, hard to find, rare, one of a kind, comic book heroes, action figures, cars, dolls, stuff from all over the world. They've even got a Zoltar. I am Zoltar, the great gypsy, and I can see your fortune. Come see it too, no? Who knows which movie this is from? Leave a comment below. You want Hot Wheels? We got Hot Wheels. Check out the size of those cat clocks. And look, there's a life-size Spider-Man. Whoa, those are some rare Voltron figures. Who remembers GoBots? That's awesome. I think they have just about every scale car you'd ever want. Okay, it's, uh, it's time to get out of here before I lose every dime I have. This place is great though. Here's an unexpected surprise. It's an art sculpture park put on by Lyft. Let's go check these sculptures out. This one's called Robot Resurrection. And this thing is massive. Can you imagine having this on your front lawn? The neighbors would um, definitely be a little upset, but I would, I'd think it was epic. 
This thing's really cool. It's like a tiny home on wheels. A collage of different architectural details. I love the captain's deck. It has like a massive boat steering wheel inside there. Now that's a hubcap. Perhaps I should get those for my Prius? This creation is called the Love Asaurus. It's like a nice comfy bed in the shell of a dinosaur, and it looks like you can ride around town in this thing. Now, let's head on over to Antique Alley. Hidden in the shadow of the stratosphere is this little street that has a ton of vintage and antique shops. It's definitely something you want to put on your to-do list when you visit Vegas next. Here's one of my favorites, Vintage Vegas. As you can see from the window, they have a lot of unique items. And I love their slogan, dead people's junk and cool crap. Here's another favorite of mine, Retro Vegas. Let's go take a look inside, shall we? Lots of beautiful, rare lamps and interesting furniture, as well as a variety of tchotchkes, artworks, and some vintage clothing. Look at the size of this disco ball. It's the perfect accessory for any home. And if you're into vinyl, they have a decent selection here to choose from. As for the artwork, they actually have a lot of rare, authentic works here. This one is by Alexander Calder. It's a signed official lithograph, signed and numbered. Calder is one of my favorite artists. If I could afford it, I would buy it. And check these seats out. They're giant human hands. These would go great in my living room with that massive disco ball. Give me five, brother. There's some crazy seating. I kind of like this style, actually. And look at these chairs. They look like they're made out of ice. That's pretty cool. Haha, <laughs> cool. Huh. Yeesh, looks like you could cut yourself on those chairs. That looks deadly. And if you're not interested in furniture, here's a horse from a vintage merry-go-round, or perhaps you'd prefer a pair of camels. Our next stop is the Antique Alley Mall. Let's go take a peek inside this massive collection of just about everything that you could ever want. It's easy to spend hours in this place, looking through all of the long-lost treasures Okay, these have to be the best lamps I have ever seen in my life. This artist repurposes vintage items such as classic car tail lamps, cameras, typewriters, phones, and even old slot machines to make these outstanding lamps. I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is awesome.
indeed. Antique Alley has a lot of shops to see, so many so that I don't have time to fit them all into today's vlog, but it's definitely worth checking out. I highly recommend putting it on your itinerary for your next Vegas trip. So, did you see anything you liked today? If so, you better run and go get it. A lot of these items are one of a kind, and when they're gone, you never see them again. Anyway, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned, because in my next video, I might just give in and do a little gambling, vlognosis style. Alright everyone, take care.